People here in Gaza said this war is measured in minutes and not days. So much can happen, even in a half hour. Sunday afternoon, Hamas and Israel said they would pause their battle in the Sujaiya neighborhood, where deaths were mounting. In a convoy of three journalists, we sped through the streets to see the neighborhood and what we thought would be a brief lull in the attacks, which were leveling the district. We stopped at the scene of an attack where ambulances were recovering victims, when suddenly a man with an AK-47 emerged and fired in the air. We fled, fearing Israelis might take his shots as a signal the ceasefire was broken. Then we came to Gaza's main hospital, Al-Shifa, where a crowd had formed. Ambulances from Sujaiya had arrived and were hoisting gurneys with the dead. There were women, men, and the bodies of two children, one of whom was a little boy whose face had been blown off. A man screamed as others chanted morning prayers at what they were seeing. Outside the morgue, hundreds of new refugees had poured out of Shujaiya and into the hospital courtyard the only place they believed that Israel wouldn't attack them. Some slept and others prayed. This woman described how policemen banged on her door in the night and told them to leave. As she fled, she said she saw wrecked ambulances, glass on the street, and destroyed buildings. It was the bloodiest day in a decade for Israelis and Palestinians, with nearly 100 Palestinians dead and 13 Israeli soldiers killed. The fighting continues. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Nick Casey in Gaza City.